Exactly. Barney was there. Co Stompy was there. Anderson. All, all of these guys. Going to playing incredible darts. Dietmar Berger found himself in the semi finals of one of the biggest tournaments around at the time. Ball. Oh. Ooh, he's giving it the whole build up there, but he didn't want it. <laughs> oh, he didn't need it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> It's a bit like taking a goal the kick and the crowd are going, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He just stopped. Getting your seeding on the European Tour is one thing, keeping it is another. He hasn't kept it. He's got to make Easy. the most of this experience and potentially when he goes to Stuttgart. But you never know, he could win this one. He certainly could. He's good enough. Yeah, and that's good, good enough. 5 0. And Dietmar Berger. He's getting a clinic game from Callan Ritz. 59. No trouble there. Puts him in a spot of bother, though. That is a big old spot of bother because it's three match darts for Callan Ritz unless his 68 is cleared. And he's only going to get one dart. He hasn't been able to breathe all game. And that may be the end of that. He has been put under so much 20. pressure. Only two darts at a double all match, and I fear the worst for him. <laughs> and that is it. Dietmar Callum Berger Ritz. may have a long and illustrious history in this sport, and Austria may owe him a massive debt of gratitude, but Callum Ritz has shown no mercy to the man from Vienna. It is a 6 0 whitewash. And certainly in the in the final against Neil Duff, I mean, he, he looked the better player for about 45% of the game. <laughs> but when he, the other 55%, Neil Duff was blasting him off the board at times. I know you're going to get that. Not everybody's going to play at the same level all the way through. But has he got enough for four legs of very good stuff, the French touch? Because he's already got two on the board. But the guy's got guts. You take into a last leg decider. Or last set decider. He believes and is even starting to make a move in this match in the middle portion. Pressure on this. Another one in there though for double 16. Oh, what I love this. This is. Zoran with an absolute stormer. Zoran might have six darts from 2 4 1 to clean this up. How much he would covet a maximum. And it would be a second of the game for him. He might go ball. Over. I like that play. But he oh. won the max. <laughs> and he gets it. No, come on. Ooh, what a shot that would have been. But Zoran Lurchbacker is going 61. to get a match dart, maybe two. Does he go for the bullseye here? 25 to leave, double 18. Yeah, it is the play. And he gets the ball. Earlier we saw Steve Beaton need something like this. He needed small single. He gets it. For double four to win. Match dart missed and Thibaut Tricol. Le Chat with nine lives. <laughs> He's used another one up as he gets out of that Eleven. hole. He could have gone to the 18s there, but staying down on that already seen target was probably the right thing to do. But look oh. at this. He's oh. only going to find his fourth maximum at the very last point of call. And he's going to look at 56, but only if Zorin misses this. Zoran. Zoran Lurchbacker. Bullseye to win it. I'm holding my breath. He'll make you wait. And he makes the shots as well! Oh, a playing in front of his home crowd for the first time. Wins a last leg decider with a 1 6 7. Leave himself on two darters after three visits to the board. And this to wrap it up. For a comfortable win. 60. Not quite. He will return. 
And I just wonder if the 8th seed Brendan Dolan is watching. You don't want to see your prospective opponent getting this 16. amount of confidence on a Friday. Yeah, Gabriel, you require well, 16. It, Brendan. I think you're playing Clemens, who's going to bagel his opponent. Eight. <laughs> he just doesn't want to get a five-visit leg. Tony Rikwal, well, another one anyway, because he had one in leg five. Yeah. Dealing almost exclusively in 16, 17, 18 darters, Gabriel, in this match. So why break the habit of a lifetime? Oh, oh come no on, score. Tony. No. Gabriel, you require <laughs> he's, he's, only had, he's had two 180s. He's only had three 140s in the entire game. And then he's checked a fourth one in when he had 140. <laughs> No, he's going to have another crack at it as well, isn't he? Six. <laughs> don't, don't, don't hit another one for now me, Tony. Really you to hit this. Oh, Tony. This would be so funny if he hits this. Don't bust it again. To be fair to him, he didn't... <laughs> 41. Show a massive amount of disappointment. Yeah, required two. <laughs> but Clements is going to finish this on double one. Prospectively. No oh, maybe score. not. I've lost count this how many match dots he's had now. Tony requires 99. It's a lot. And Gabriel, you can afford to smile when you're 5-0 up. Tony still managed to leave himself 99 and was going to travel 20, which is an interesting one. OK, that gets around it. Game <laughs> shot the sick leg. <laughs> what a set Martin. of visits that is from Tony Martinez. 57. So Gabriel it's actually potentially 66. costing him a dart to double. He can do what he wants. Tony Martinez back at the 200s. And he's hit the treble anyway. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go to double 14 then, Gabriel. Fun and games at the end of this match. 52. How many doubles has he had a crack at for the match? Do you know double what? eight, double four. Double two, double one, double 18, double 14. I make that at least six. First half of the match, couldn't score, didn't mess around 14. at the end. Back half of the match, scored pretty well, ridiculous stuff at the end of legs. Oh, no, it's sure. that standard. Just dangling Tony there, I think a pendulum, grandfather clock one. And Tony Martin, what are you going to go with this one then? Boringly conventional, double 12. Looks an alright guy, do you know? 54. Well, if Gabe Clemens yeah, doesn't really take this, he may be starting to break some sort of record for mismatched darts in a European tour match. Game. Finally, yeah. Gabriel Clemens and gets over the Gabriel line. Clemens. It could have been 6 0. It probably should have been 6 0. But despite the fact it was a comfortable victory for the German number one, he still found a way to chuck in a bit of added value for the fans here in Graz. That's what you hope for at the Grand Prix, of course. Get one of those, and the likelihood is you've just had a nine daughter. But 96 for 4 2. 96. These are the battles. It's happening again. They've both got two daughters. If you get the first shot, take it. He's on the super leg. Danny Very nicely Nossa. done. Well, we have three holds of throw to start the game. We've had three consecutive breaks that have followed. Danny. Yeah, we've had plenty of misses where it's ushered the other guy back to the board and they've had chances. 74. 4 4 coming in. And all of a sudden, Jimmy and Watamina is finding the double with his first shot. 2 out of 2 in that respect. Ooh. There may be trouble ahead. Trebleless turns into trouble full. And he can't leave a finish from 3 4 3. 60. And now it's his turn to be troubleless. So it's firmly advantage, not but now. This is what I mean about last leg decider. It's just the composure he's showing right now. The willingness to get through this test. He's shown no panic. And what I mean at is needing everything. I just wonder if that was the right play. Maybe he should have gone to the 19s to start. Mm. Well, Danny Noppert should get a match dart. And does, and it's double top. And that is a very, very professional 15 data to close it out. The UK Open champion beats Jermaine Watamena and books his place in the second round.
Well, he's had nine darts from 154, Mensor Sulevich. And you can't afford to do that. Well, maybe you can. Yes, you can, because Jeffrey Desvan has spurned six darts to break. 36. Well, Kreider are involved, that's for sure. I've heard a lot worse. But this place is definitely one-sided. Double 18. He doesn't really deserve this leg. But double nine, the next door neighbour of 14s. Yeah. Comes to his aid. Yeah. You go That's next so door to see if they've got some sugar. And he gets a big fat kiss on the lips. Hang about. 140. Evenly poised once again. One point separates them in the whole match. That's okay for Mensor. Yeah, uses it. Just a little high. The 1 2 1 is a trickier out shot than the 120. Maybe not too tricky. Bullseye it is. And does well as the break. He's not Mr. Popular right now. But in his own head, he doesn't care. I can't believe he's made that mathematical error. I'm not thinking clearly. He's going to go bull now. Yeah, to leave 98. Well, even 90. better than that, I suppose. If you require 90. Now, does it come down to Desvan closing out? Double 15. Oh, oh. 75. Does Agony. Two 73. match darts missed by Jeffrey Desvan. And Mensor Sulevich, 73. To not only stay in it, but become the favourite. Suljevic is back in this one. What kind of pressure will Suljevic be under? It's massive. <laughs> I don't even know why he went triple 19. Says Vaughn's left his brain at the back of the stage as well, but it's 80 for Suljevic. It's double 10 and he's got two. Mensor Suljevic yeah, is relying on Desvan missing more match darts. A smirk from Desvan as he misses the big number. An, an uncharacteristic lack of composure. But he makes up for it by squeezing that one in the corner. And Jeffrey Desvan has spoiled the party. Mensor Suljevic had his chance, couldn't take it. And the Black Cobra strikes. A 6-5 win earlier in the night for Zoran Lurchbacker in front of his home crowd. But the daddy of Austrian darts couldn't join him by doing the same. Two missed darts for the match. And Desvan will take on Johnny Clayton here in Graz tomorrow in the second round. Well, this for a start for Bunting. Even without that going, he's on for another five-visit leg. And Sedlacek who had built this up saying that this this could be the game of the night oh, the minute London he's just not got the firepower to live with Stephen 72. Bunting. yeah Bunting's just too consistent double six just a tiny scoots to the left which puts him almost and central on the hockey Stephen Bunting. and he's well, keeping everybody Carol quiet first. here plenty of smiles out there but nothing on the face of evil Charlie Oh, oh, lovely. Another big moment coming up here. Double 16. Yeah, and we have a level game. So all of that like mistake that we talked about, it's now scrubbed. Sedlacek has corrected it. I don't think it was particularly pure. The follow-through nah. was a bit <laughs> Jockey Wilson-esque. But sheer, here he comes. Sheer force of will oh, that he got it in there. But Carol Sedlacek with another 180. Does leave himself on that bogey number. So Stephen Bunting is going to get a shot for the match. Oh, and again, God. last start in the treble 20 is absolutely golden for the bullet. Now, what does he do? So many options on oh, one way. First game of the day, Danny Jansen took this on the 18s. You can go 17s, 19s, 20s. It's the 20s. And he's not going to be able to finish it 
with the last Six. dart. Aaron so Sedlacek gets one chance to finish the game right here. Stephen Bunting was warned, win your legs in five visits. Four Because visits. if you don't, you could lose it, and Carol Sedlacek misses a match dart. Stephen Bunting is going to get two of his own. He throws all the way down on the right-hand side. Double 16 is the dart that's furthest away, so he's gone eight for tops. Eight. And they weren't close. Only they weren't close. 20. And Carol Sedlacek, after back-to-back -back Euro Tour defeats at the hands of Rob Cross, a former world champion, might be about to beat a former world champion here in Graz. Oh, and we're into a seventh visit for the Steven first Uri time Choir. in this match. Ooh. He's all got nervy at the end after sustained excellence for ten legs. Crackers match. Four mismatch darts from Sedlicek. But Game it's shot. not four mismatch darts from Bunting. Bunting. He gets across the line. One of the darts is pocketed. But what he has pocketed is a second round match. He will be back on Saturday. He's dodged a bullet there has the bullet but he is through and that's the main thing he can go to bed tonight with a huge sigh of relief one thing i've learned about mr sturm so far he's got shoulders they're very broad 60. He's, he's a big old unit he's stormy i think we have to mention the fact that we're in graz or just outside 100. of graz which, of course, is the Austrian home of Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is where he was from. Austria's got many famous 80. children, but Ronnie famous, more famous than the former governor of California. I don't know, Zoran Lurchbacker. People seem to know him. Oh, hello. Double 15. I get the feeling he's going to play tonight like he just doesn't to care, Rufus. just whatever happens. Brett Clayton's thinking, this is a good... Oh, this not, might not be a good draw, this one. 60. Oh, very narrow. Ready requires 61. On that last start, almost left himself on the 83, which would have been legitimate pressure on the 61. It's a great 25 from Brett. Double nine. And a lovely he's conversion for 4-1. He's taking this game Super by the scruff of the neck. And Brett Clayden, he, look, he's in control of this match. But he's got problems here. Six. Serious Only problems. When you hit the singles just inside the double wire, that says to me that you're not comfortable. Sturm <laughs> has hit 24, <laughs> which leaves 28. Double double finish. It's the old double hurdle. What? Well, look, hurdle double nine to go to double fourteen. Oh, <laughs> oh, I love seeing this stuff. Oh, Ninety-six left. It's down to the old sixteen. Got seventy-six again. That's very Mensur-like. Yeah. A curious one. But the thing is, at the back end of legs, he's looking a business right now. 65, Ronnie requires 68. Can you imagine the crowd if he goes ahead? Double 10. And he is ahead. Oh, he's fired. I didn't see this coming. Absolutely not. It is four legs on the spin for Ronnie Sturm. Treble 18 is missed. So it's Clayton's 54. turn for a 68. This was taken 68. in the last leg by his opponent. He must find this. And the crowd are involved. Oh, hey, wow. What a dart Brett that is from Brett Clayton. <laughs> he looks around as if he's expecting anybody to congratulate him. And the only person that does is Ryan Ishton. <laughs> Because it could well be nine from here to finish the job for Clayton. Oh, it's a superb switch. 
Well, full credit to Brett Claydon. It was a dream, it was turning into a nightmare. And at the very last moment, before Freddy Krueger dragged him away to his doom, he has woken up just in time. Double ten to win it. It's not happening again, is it? No, it's not. Brett Clayden gets over the line. A first ever Euro Tour win for the Cambridgeshire man. And one that he had to work so, so hard for. Yes, everybody likes Gratz. We've been here two times before. And the one thing I always take away from here is just how incredible the noise is from the weekend. It's and we are going to get that tomorrow. Look, I mean, it's not the biggest venue, but you've got 2,000 fans in here tomorrow. And there's just something about this 100. place where, look, they'll fill it. Those you require 70. Quite low ceiling, as you can see. It's not one of those massive, airy arenas that we sometimes go to. Double eight. Double four. 62. Worried it. Over you require 101. Rodriguez so far... He's not hitting his straps. Is he going to go double double here? Oh, that's a beauty. So is yeah, that. That is that. so rude. I'm not surprised by that at all. No. He is a bit of a showman. <laughs> and he's showing <laughs> us exactly <laughs> who he is. Five's no gimme. Certainly not with the way that Darius is playing right now. Ooh. Oh, Darius. Of all no the score. players. I mean, that, that's the indication of where his game's at. Isn't it? But you, you don't expect Darius Labadowskis to do that. 16s. And win it on the bullseye. Oh, making his weight. Work for Zoran. Oh, it very nearly works Six for Roby John as well. He wanted Harris it just all for them, didn't he? This time the one is good. We always say that's the hard bit. Not really. This is the hard bit. This is the hardest bit. Three. This should be game over. He's Three. already Three. taken out 25 Five. in the last leg. And double eight. Seventeen. Three match darts missed as Roby John Rodriguez doesn't Darius, end the night just yet. Two. Darius Lamanauskas was not thinking he'd come back and have another crack at this double one. It's actually a brilliant guy for him. He, he, he needs it yes, to be about a centimetre high. Nine if it was any closer than that, it was going to bounce it Game inside on. the single. Luke Humphreys, Danny Janssen. If you're, not, if you're not on board the Danny Janssen fan train, get on board it now. There are, there's loads of room at the minute, but tickets will be hard to come yeah. by. We Four were there people. at the start, Dan. Mm. Everybody else can just get the back. How about double 17 to win the game? Oh, what a shot from Roby John Rodriguez to round it off for the night. Ball double 17 and a 6-3 win. It's another Austrian through to day two here in Graz.